everything without offending. So now my mouth is in the jailhouse with cases pending. First Amendment, you replaced it, rigged it, dumped it down. It's not an option. Some of it I understand. Took power from me. SMT Nation, let me tell you a little bit about our partner, Mint Mobile. You guys know the Fox. You've seen the commercials. You know what they're about. They're about great value, giving you excellent customer care, and helping you save money. I know a lot of people are really going to enjoy these savings and take advantage of these great offers. Make sure to use our partner link and really reap the benefits of this service. What up, SMT Nation? We're going to be testing uh, Verizon N77 in the lower level of the SMT HQ. We're going to test the iPhone and we're going to test the Google Pixel 7 Pro. All right, so we're here at my desk, lower level, you know, cinder basement, basically. Uh, let's go ahead and see how the network is performing with respect to this particular location. A uh, tough thing to do is get an N77 C band signal down here, uh, but Verizon finds a way, I guess. <laughs> and the Pixel's picking it up. All right, so we got 34 ping, we got 13 jitter, 2 11 megabits down, and looks like maybe about 32 megabits up. Uh, you'll see that we disconnect from the ultra wideband for possibly the uplink. I saw it disconnect there. Let's test it again and see if that is, I guess, repeatable. All right, so there's the 5G ultra wideband signal on the downlink side. Let's see if it cuts off again. That's interesting. I don't know if I ever really noticed that. Okay, it's hanging on to it for the uplink now. Hmm. Maybe just disconnect. Up, oh, there it goes. But the bandwidth hung on. All right, so 202 down, 37 and a half up, 30 ping, 4 jitter. Okay, so there's your Google Pixel 7 Pro. Let's bring up the iPhone. Let's see how it does. And for the iPhone, with the 5G setting on. All right, so we do see 5G. Doesn't show ultra wideband. Let's see if we pick it up. I'm watching for it. Huh. Okay, there we go. All right, good. Picked it up. All right, good stuff. Looks uh, looks to be pretty similar, maybe a little better, at least on the downlink side. All right, so we got 40 ping, 5 jitter, 225 on the downlink, 1920 on the uplink. Not bad, good stuff. Uh, looks like it kind of did the same thing that the Pixel did disconnecting from ultra wideband at the end with the uplink ping times a little high okay not showing the ultra wideband but it's definitely connected to it interesting so downlink slightly better i suppose it's it's really close uh uplink is lesser for whatever reason i'm not sure why All right, what do you guys think of that testing here? 224 down, 2.64 megabits up, 46 ping, 6 jitter. Uh, I'd say overall, I guess the Pixel did a little bit better because of the uplink advantage. The iPhone a little bit better with the downlink, I suppose. Not much of a difference. Uh, sometimes the iPhone doesn't even pick up the ultra wideband. you got to do an airplane mode. Sometimes the Pixel does it too. No phone's perfect. No RF conditions. They're exactly the same. Antennas are different, and the modems are much different, too. Uh, but what do you guys think of that testing? What do you think about C-band N77 now? 100 megahertz in Cleveland looks like it helps a little bit here in the lower level. More throughput. Uh, signal quality looks a little bit better. We're picking it up pretty consistently. Uh, but that's interesting. Good stuff here. iPhone, Pixel, uh, compared here with N77 100 megahertz uh, here on Verizon. Comment down below. All the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard.